Airtable content calendar. Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can use Airtable content calendar to track your progress and more. So let's get started. First, what you have to do is you will open up your Airtable. If you're completely new, you can go to Airtable.com and sign up for a free signing up process. It's really easy. You can get started by just logging in with your Google account. So once you have your Airtable, Airtable is a project management software with a lot of different features and tools for us to help us manage our work and to help us manage our team. When it comes to content calendar, we get a lot of different templates on air table and we can get a content calendar content calendar simply means that we can track our progress on a calendar so if you are a youtuber or freelancer or any kind of business owner you can track your progress with a content calendar very easily and you will be able to create high quality content and be consistent with it so what you have to do is simply go to templates right here uh, once we go to templates on air table we have thousands of different templates to choose from and it allows us to create a very creative workspace of our own and we will be able to get more productive and save a lot of time so once the templates are open you can see we also have different categories here we have content production featured creative legal uh, local business a nonprofit, real estate remote to work and more and then we have content calendars right here click on content calendar if you cannot find it you can always search for it just search for content calendar and it will open up all of the content calendar templates for you on Airtable. So this is our content calendar template. Click on use template. Simply select the workspace where you want to add it. Click on add base and it will be added. So this is our content calendar that we get on Airtable. Let me show you around. Uh, we have all of these different tables within this template. We have a content pipeline, campaigns, results, and then I can add more tables if I want to. The first table is content pipeline and we have all of these different uh, groups and fields that uh, we get with this template. Now I will actually customize it the way I want to because every person will have their own needs and they will have their own content preferences. What you can do is you can change uh, all of these different statuses and you can change all of these different fields. For example, the first one we have is names. So what I can do is I can actually change the name of this field to maybe research and ideas there you go so we have research and ideas now i can customize each of these different boxes right here and we get serial numbers it helps us to check that how many contents we're actually doing um, it works the boxes work just like we do it on spreadsheet so it's kind of like really similar at the same time if you want to change the view for this board right here you can go to views and then you can change the view to a grid view form calendar gallery kanban timeline and gantt if you do not like this view right here so you can customize it the way you want to let's say that i want to get a kanban view so i will click on this button right here and i can click on create new view and then we will select the status. So I'm going to select this one and click on done. There you go. The content that we just had, I converted it into a Kanban view. And now I have these words. So that is how we simply work with our tables right here. Now, uh, what we can do is I can change all of these different fields and I can add a new card here. So let's go ahead and create a new card. Click on this plus button and you will be able to add a new record. Let's go ahead and call it task one. And then we can select from different statuses. Let's say that, that it's in progress. We have headline, subheadings, creator, image, due date, channels, and more. Once you're done, click on enter and your new task will be created right here on your timetable. So we have this right here, task one, and it's in progress because I selected this status. If I wanted to move it to on hold or to reviews, I can just drag it and drop it wherever I want to. We can also add images and videos and files to our different records that we add onto our content calendar. And if you want to change the name for content calendar and call it something else, let's say that you have a YouTube channel and you want this table to be known as that as a YouTube channel. So let's just go ahead and maybe call it. There you go. 
click on enter and you will see that the name for content calendar will be changed this depends on you the views if you want to get a calendar view you can get that as well and it will help you track your progress and then we have the campaigns right here so the first one was content pipeline like the content that i will be creating my ideas then the content that is in progress on hold and then when i will complete a task i will get all the tracking right here in my first table of my content calendar the second table that has been created with the template is campaigns so if you do campaigns you can keep this one if you don't do that you can delete any table you want to so i'm going to delete this table from here and now we have results so if you want the results if you want to keep track of your earning what you're earning from your content if you have a blog and you want to know that which uh, blog actually made more money which video did well what is your cpa and what's happening so you can keep track of your results as well um similarly we can customize the cards we can change the views anytime we want to we can change the color we can share the view with our team members as well to share any table you can click on this uh, button right here and it will allow you to share your content calendar your content ideas all you have to do is enter the email address of the person you want to invite your team member and then you are good to go similarly i can go ahead and you know create different tasks from this button as well a new record click on this plus button and it will again allow you to create records right here and you can add different statuses and you can add different things to your calendar right here i'm going to go back to my content pipeline you can actually switch to different views from here this is a pipeline view then we have a content calendar view um this is where you will be getting your calendar and you will be able to see that uh what uh, project you're doing on which date and to add a new record on any of the date you simply you know go to this table right here this box this is on 13 of uh tuesday then we, we're going to just click on this plus button and it will allow me to quickly add a new task on this date this is how we use a content calendar it's really easy to work with let's say that i want to schedule a post on my social media on 16th so i will just click right here and i will add new post on facebook new post on facebook click on done and it will be added right here and we can also move any of these different plans to any other date anytime we want to again we can share it we have customized label option so you can add different labels right here such as creator image due date channels you can add new fields anytime uh, you want to we can add images as well and add them to our calendar right here so this is our content calendar view within our content calendar workspace that we just got from a template you can customize it the way you want to it depends on your business what you do if you are a um you know into a business where you need to plan your goals and track your progress you can use it that way if you are a content creator it will allow you to schedule your post your events and help you get more productive and save a lot of time so yeah guys this brings us to the end of the video i hope that i was a big help to you and now you know how to use airtable content calendar don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the youtube channel